Well, a year ago, I posted a tip on how to handle reissuing a replacement payroll check uh, in Sage 50, formerly Peachtree. Well, now uh, Sage has released uh, 2015.1, the first update to version 2015 of Sage 50, and they've added a new feature that lets you easily void and reissue a payroll check. So I'm going to show you how this new feature works. From the payroll entry window, you'll open up the check that you need to reissue. So let's click the list button and then we'll find the check that we want to reissue. So we'll pick the last one on the list here. And we can see that it was issued on the 15th and it's check number 1293 for $759. Up on the toolbar there's this new button for the, uh, the reissue button. I'll click that. You'll see at first it almost looks like nothing even happened. But there's this red reissue stamp up here. The check number is blank and the date has, uh, has changed to uh, whatever your current date is. Uh, so this is an exact duplicate of the original check. Now if I were to close this without saving it, nothing would happen. We would see we still have our check there just like before. But we'll go back and reissue that again. And this time, normally you'd probably print this, but I'm just going to save it. And if we go back to our list, now we can see that we have our original check 1293. There's the 1293V where the original was voided. And then here is our new check waiting to be printed. So that works pretty smoothly. Um, you know, it, it automates that process basically to a single click. There are a couple things that I want to make sure you know about though so you don't uh, get into trouble using this new feature. The first thing is that if you change the date the check will recalculate. That may or may not cause a problem, but you can see that here when I did it, our check comes out to a different amount. And it, typically that would come up um, if, uh, if there have been changes to the tax tables since uh, the original check was issued, or if you had gone in and modified any of their deductions, or if the employee had had a raise since the original check was issued. So unless you're reissuing this because the original check was wrong, it's very important that you make sure that your amount is identical on the replacement check um, as it was on the original check. Uh, the other thing that you need to, to be careful of, and hopefully you'd be checking this anyway, but uh, the system will let you reissue a check that has already cleared the bank. And of course, you should be checking that yourself you know, before you agree to reissue a check, uh, but the system should not allow you to do that. And in fact, the normal void function won't let you void a check that you've marked cleared on the account reconciliation. So let me show you a little bit of what I'm talking about here. Um, I have set up a custom report to show the cleared status on all of our checks. And you can see right here the check 1136 uh, to Amanda uh, is already cleared. But if we go back to payroll entry and we bring up check 1136, we can see that it clearly lets us reissue that. And I'll save it just to make sure it goes through the whole process. And there it is. If I go back to our list, Go down to the bottom, there is the void and the reissue of check 1136. And if we go and look at our account reconciliation, you'll see that just like you would expect with, um, with a voided check here, Check 1136 is marked as cleared in you know in the month that it was voided, and uh, and there's the void check right there. Whereas previously this check had cleared in January. So again, hopefully you know that won't ever be a problem for you because you should be checking you know to make sure that the paycheck hasn't cleared the bank before you ever reissue it. So it shouldn't ever come up. But uh, just in case, don't uh, rely on the system to prevent you from voiding and reissuing a cleared paycheck. So that's how you uh, can now 
with one click, void and replace a payroll check in Sage 2015.1 or higher. Um, with with those couple little warnings, it's a great feature um, that can help you easily do something that that maybe you don't do very often. So normally would have had a hard time remembering exactly what the procedure should be.